Today I have a bit of a different video for you. For once it is not friendship bracelet, it is not crochet and it is not beadwork. So that it will thrill some of you and imagine some of you, but yes. Today we are doing shrink plastic. It's a world that I entered into when I was a lot younger. I did a lot of shrink plastic with um, rubber stamps and such because I can't draw. And the bead shop Nottingham messaged me asking if I wouldn't mind doing a video on one of the kits that they have recently brought out. So I said, why not? So the kit that they sent to me is the shrink plastic mandala, 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 um, kit. Yes. It's da -da -da. This one. And I decided to give it a whirl. It costs £6.95 to buy it from their website and they do ship internationally as well. I'll pop a link to everything in the description box below. But yes, I'm not an expert on shrink plastic, nor do I claim to be. Obviously, I just said I wasn't, but I managed to make this sun catcher, which I think is quite awesome. It's got little feathers or leaves hanging off it, which I think is super cute. I made these earrings. Come on, cook it. You will, you will have seen them anyway. And I made this pendant as well, which I think is super cute. Kind of matches my nail varnish as well. So, treat. Um, my favorite thing is definitely the sun catcher. I spent quite a long time on it. But you'll see how large the pieces are that you're coloring in, and this is the size that they shrink down to. So this is my hand, and I do not have a big hand. So the largest piece is about, shrinks to about the size of my palm, just as a bit of a reference for you. Enough waffling from me, grab your Sharpies, let's get going. Okay, so in this kit you receive two sheets with various mandala sizes on. You also receive your findings, charms, and an 18 inch silver plated curb chain. You get 12, I think, six millimeter jump rings, a couple of fish hooks, and quite a few uh, feather charms, which are really cute. And then obviously you also get the instructions. I think I was meant to get some satin cord as well, but that seems to have been missed out. So grab your permanent markers in a variety of colors. On the sheet, it says what sizes are perfect for what, which is pretty ace. It says good for decorations or dream catchers, ideal pendant size, and the other one said good for earrings. So now you're just going to color in. And you don't just have to do straight coloring. I started out by doing straight coloring. The first one I colored, I think I just did normal coloring. And then on the other ones, I went mad and did various designs. The instruction sheet has quite a lot of inspiration as well, if you're like me and you're not very uh, good at thinking outside of the box, but yeah. So these are the designs that I came up with. I've got some with stripes on. And then I've got some spots. Just make sure that the designs you do aren't too small because these obviously do shrink down. And if you do very complicated designs, you're not going to be able to see them, obviously. So now that, oh, that's the first one I colored, like I said, just plain. And some more designs. Wonderful. Now you're going to grab your scissors. I find it easier if I cut around it roughly first and then go in with my scissors and cut the rest out. I think this would be easier if you had a craft knife. I don't have a craft knife. I know, shocker. Um, but just attack with a pair of scissors and be very patient and take your time. Like you don't want to cut through all your hard work. The time consuming part of this kit is coloring in and cutting out. The rest of it is super easy. So now you're gonna grab your hole punch and I know a hole punch looks like a ridiculously large hole for uh, various things, but it's the perfect size. I should have hole punched these a little bit higher, but I didn't want to uh, break them, so I was a bit, a bit cautious with it. But yes, I'm just hole punching all of these, making sure that I don't split the sides at all. You will see how much darker the colours go when you shrink it. Um, it's, it's quite impressive, I won't lie. 
it, everything just intensifies, it's amazing. I tried to use colouring pencils on these, but obviously that it didn't work, so I had to go with Sharpies. So for my sun catcher pieces, I'm just hole punching a hole on each side, and then on the largest one, I hole punched a hole on each side, and then two extra ones to dangle a couple of feather charms off of. But I cleverly didn't get that in frame, so I cut it out. Then you're going to preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius, and I am do these one at a time. Um, and then I just grabbed some chopsticks and flattened it out. You want to pop it on a baking tray, pop it in the oven, wait for it to shrink. Obviously I cut out quite a lot of time. Um, be careful it is hot. I know I'm pressing it with my hand, but be careful it is hot. Your work will, as it shrinks, skew, screw up and you are going to think, what have I done? I ruined it. Like, see that's all folded over. You haven't ruined it. Don't panic. It's just shrinking. Don't panic. But full instructions are on in the kit, so be sure to follow those to make sure it's alright. This is just a real time. This is the last one I did, so the pan was a bit warmer and the oven was a bit hotter. But this is the real time of it shrinking, which I thought was quite interesting. This is the largest uh, sun catcher piece, so the largest piece on the sheet, and you can see it folding up and kind of looks like a blossoming flower and you think what have I done all of my hard work is ruined but it isn't you're okay it'll flatten out you just gotta have faith I gotta have faith but yes if you choose I eventually gave up with the chopsticks and just chose to flatten it out using my hand um, but be really careful because obviously it has just come out of an oven so it's not the coldest thing in the world and you don't want it to be because otherwise you're not going to be able to flatten it out because they go to a very very stiff um, plastic because it obviously thickens as it shrinks and all of that so you think it might be done but it's not quite yet you'll see in a second it will just go ah then see it's flattened out again now so now you're ready to take it out of the oven, flatten it, and all of that jazz. So I've just grabbed my clear nail varnish, and I'm just going to varnish a couple of these pieces. I didn't do all of them. Um, on the instructions, it recommended using a 3D glossy glaze, which the bead shop stock. I unfortunately don't have any of this 3D glossy glaze, um, so I wasn't able to use it, but I just thought I'd test run nail varnish. It worked well. Um, it smudged the Sharpie a little bit. But hey, I only did the earrings. So you can see there. And then without, you can see how much that one has intensified colour-wise. And it, they're just quite matte if you don't glaze them or varnish them at all. So, and here is my mandala. Look how much it's shrunk down. Very nice, very nice. I'm very proud of it. So now you're just going to grab your findings and your pliers and attach everything all together. I change angle in a second, don't panic. So I'm just attaching two feather charms onto the extra holes that I made and you'll see that the holes have shrunk down to a really good size. Then between each of the mandala or each of the designs on my sun catcher, I'm using three jump rings. So I'm popping a jump ring on one piece, adding another one in between and then attaching a third jump ring onto the next piece down. And making sure it's all done up nicely. And then I'm just going to repeat that between the medium size and the smallest size. So one jump ring, open it up, pop it through the bottom hole, add another one. If you don't add that second one, it's not going to lay right. So yeah. Very nice. And just attach them all together. Um, like I say, I think mine was meant to come with satin cord, but unfortunately didn't. So I just used a piece of embroidery thread in a matching colour to um, pop through the top of my sun catcher and it worked well so yeah Ta -da! Very nice, very nice. then I attached a jump ring to the top of my pendant and I got the 18 inch silver plated curb chain that came in the kit pop that through as well very nice fits really well there we go lovely focus focus there we go very nice, very nice. 
and then like I say if I'd have done the holes higher up on the earrings I could have just added the fish hooks through directly but unfortunately I did the holes a bit low down so I had to put a jump ring between that's not an issue at all so I just twisted the bottom of the fish hook and then opened it up popped it on the uh, jump ring and twist it back closed and there we go there is all the finished pieces what color combinations would you do let me know i'm nosy you must all know that by now yes So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support, as I always say, does truly mean the world to me and or why not hit subscribe. I post new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday and sometimes a bonus video in the week as well. I would like to say a massive thank you to the Bead Shop Nottingham for sending me this kit to try out and, and, and do. It's a really good kit, really easy kit and I like it. If you would like to recreate something using one of my tutorials, I would love to see a picture of it, so please feel free to post a picture on social media using the hashtag TheCornerOfCraft so I can check it out for myself, see how talented you all are on all of that jazz. A link to the Bead Shop website and where you can buy this kit can be found in the description box below, along with links to all of my social media. La 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 la. Always check out the description box because I usually put some useful information in there. What do you think of the new quality? I got a new camera for Christmas. This is the first tutorial or first video you are going to see that's filmed on it. I went away last week. We've got a vlog coming up next week. Be very excited. I went to Amsterdam and Brussels and you can come along with me. I've got, I can see myself just up here and it's really distracting. So if my eyes keep flicking upwards, I'm really sorry. Thank you very much once again for watching and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye. It's Hannah and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute flag peyote stitch pendant.